Hi, Sherry from The Watering Mouth here. And this is my kitchen sink salad. It is just as delicious as it looks. Start off with some really fresh lettuce. I just washed this green leaf lettuce and dry it off real good. Then I added in some romaine and some baby kale and actually some dandelion greens too. Um, I use this particular bowl. It's made by OXO and it's a, um, a bowl specifically for chopping salad. And I always use this bowl when I make salad. So here's all my, these are the dandelion greens in there and all the rest of the greens. The green leaf, the kale, the dandelion, and um, now I'm just gonna add, oh, I wanted you to see how much salad I put there first. That's like three quarters of the bowl. And I'm just gonna add some clover sprouts. You can use any kind of sprouts you want or anything you have on hand. And I cheated and I got some salad mixing toppings from Whole Foods. I'll tell you more about that later. So here's what the salad looks like. And then the bowl comes with this awesome double pizza cutter. This is the best part about it because you can chop the salad so easily. You just mash down like this on the side of the bowl and it'll chop it into really small pieces. It's so much easier than using a knife um, and it takes a lot less time. So when you get done chopping, this is actually um, the size of pieces that I like. Just get off all those little pieces there and see how much you have left. Now look at those little pieces, yummy! The best part about this is, is that you get these small pieces so you can actually eat more at a time and you can see how much room in the bowl I have left here to throw in some other vegetables. So let me show you what I do. You could add in some very aromatic herbs like dill or mint or I like to add in celery and onions too because they give a good pop of flavor. And so here's the stuff that I got from Whole Foods. It's just a bowl full of the stuff from the salad bar. I've got peas, I got beets, I got edamame, I grabbed some farro, um, some sprouted mung beans. I'm actually going to take out the cucumbers and tomatoes because I don't like how they get chopped um, and smashed so much when I use the pizza cutter thing. But I have some green peppers, carrots, Lots of different vegetables in here, and I'm just gonna chop them up into the salad a little bit more after I've done the lettuce a little bit, and then I'm ready for the next step. Quick tip, make sure to rinse off the pizza cutter when you're done so you don't get pieces of stuck salad all over it. Then you're gonna just stir it up a little bit, and I always add some nuts and seeds into the salad as well, so I'm adding some raw unsalted hemp seeds here, lots of protein and fiber, and I'm also adding um, some raw unsalted sunflower seeds, same deal mix it all up and I actually wanted to show you how cool it looks like in reverse. Check this out. It's the matrix. I'm using the force to stir this salad. <laughs> so cool. Wow, I'm fancy. And here's how I store it. I just use this like press and seal or you could just use saran wrap, plastic wrap over the top of the bowl and then I put a layer of foil over it as well. And that's actually worked so well, the salad will keep for like seven days for me. So I just keep scooping some more out when I need it for lunchtime and I'm good to go. Okay, so here's the important part. This is the bowl that I use when I eat salad, I swear, and the big huge soup spoon like this. I swear this is how I eat it. And this is how you get in so many nutrients every day. You can see there's so many different ingredients in this salad. I use a huge like mixing bowl and I use five big soup ladle spoonfuls of this salad and I eat that all in one sitting. I use the spoon because it allows me to shovel more at a time. Um, you can also add in some um, some other ingredients, like I would save these for later and add them on top, and then this is super nutritious watercress that I would save till later too. Um, and this is how I eat the salad, seriously. I will sit down in front of a TV or the computer if I'm working, and I will just shovel and shovel and shovel, and I won't pay attention. It's funny, it's like opposite of diet advice. They always tell you, pay attention to your food, have small portions. Um, okay, that was disgusting. <laughs> Sorry. Um, have small portions and make sure you aren't watching TV so you don't eat too much. Well, this is the opposite. You're supposed to eat as much as you possibly can. And I tell you, after you eat this salad, you won't be hungry for the rest of the day. The other very important thing is to chew very thoroughly so you can get as many nutrients out of the lettuce and all the other vegetables as you can. So here's a typical lunch for me. I had this actually today. I made some marinara baked tofu fries a big bunch of beets, the salad with some blueberries on top, and some homemade cream of mushroom soup. So this is a typical lunch, and I would eat the whole thing in one sitting, and I would be full for the rest of the day. Not even able to look at another thing, and I have no cravings when I eat all of this healthy food at once. Imagine all the nutrients you're giving to yourself, and how many um, 
years of longevity you're adding to your life when you eat like this every day. I hope you really like that recipe. It's one of my favorites. I make it all the time and it's super flexible. You can make it so many different ways. If you like this video, please send it to your friends. Share it with someone who might be interested in some healthy recipes. I typically will eat that salad with just like a balsamic vinegar or sometimes even without any dressing because I'll eat it with like maybe just some plain beets or something like that to mix up the flavors. It's really healthy that way. Try not to add any oil if you can. If you did like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because you'll get all the new videos as soon as they come out. The same with my email newsletter, you can sign up at my website and I will give you a free, awesome little e-cookbook that will get you started on some healthy recipes. I'm also on Snapchat at The Water Mouth and Periscope on Sundays sometimes at The Watering Mouth. So please follow me and I will see you guys later. Bye.